What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the Bugatti Chiron. And this is a really cool car. It's very similar to the Veyron, which I guess we'll probably do at some point as well. We have the streamlines going from left to right. And even though the Chiron is styled quite uh, fairly uh, aggressively at the front, the wake is not too bad. So you can see it comes down quite nicely. This roof is obviously tapered so that the streamlines follow it and then it creates a very small wake. The wake is really the major drag production feature of a car. So if you can reduce that, they're doing good in terms of the drag. And you can see that there's not much of a roll up either. So the flow really stays fairly straight and um, quite well attached. That's why even though there is such, like there's a cavity there, there are these huge um, like cutouts here. And then at the front, there's also quite a, a few aggressive stylings. The drag of the vehicle is not too bad. It's about 0 0.32, I think. And so even though, again here, you have the flow wrapping around, now, and this is the live plane with the pressure plotted. So we're on the side of the car and you can already see there's a bit of low pressure around both tires, mainly the front one. Let's play and the, the plane will go through. So here is a pretty good indication of what this vehicle is doing. So at the back, as I said, you have a pretty decent wake. Like it's not very low pressure in terms of gauge, it's close to zero. But obviously at the front, you do get a high pressure because it's hitting us almost a bluff body effectively. Um, even though they just tapered quite nicely, it's still bluff body. So you the increase in pressure at the front compared to the back creates that drag. And then over the roof, you have a low pressure forming. And that means that the vehicle is most likely producing quite a bit of lift, which it does. And this is the same plane, but now with the U velocity plotted from zero to 45 meters per second. And again, we can see that the wake is pretty decent. Like here, for example, look how small that wake is. There is obviously that the downwards direction of it. And then you have a low velocity on the, at the front and then an increase in velocity over the roof. One thing that a lot of cars have is just where the the hood meets the um, the windshield, there's usually a little bit of a low velocity there. And that's because of redirection of flow and it's just a little bit draggy there. That's it. Make sure to like, subscribe and show this to your friends. And also check out the Atmosphere Hawk if you want to make your research better. Links in the description. Peace out, amigos.